Every single step has a consequence, whether you perceive that it does or does not. One single mistake makes the whole problem to be started all over again. My reason to be here is the same as that of yours, to make your very tiny step towards the solution of the problem today. And here is the problem on the screen. And let's get started to solve the problem that is the problem on multiple integrals that is integral 0 to 1 this is integral 0 to this is 1 minus x square and this is integral 0 to 1 minus x square minus y square x y z that is dz dy dx first of all we have to identify the limits so the limits here are these are the z limits so according to the z limits z varies from 0 to z to root over 1 minus x square minus y square. First, I will integrate with respect to x. That is integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus x square. So, x, y will be constant and we have to integrate with respect to z. That is z square by 2 between the limits here. The limits are that is z is equal to 0 to z is equal to root over 1 minus x square minus y square. This is dy dx. First of all, I have to integrate with respect to z. So, this will be integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus x square. This is xy. If I substitute the upper limit here, this will be 1 minus x square minus y square whole square by 2 and the other one will be 0. This is dy dx. Now, if I cancel this one square and root and what happens here? So, this will be integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus x square. This is xy. This is 1 minus x square minus y square. This is dy dx and half I am keeping friend. So, this will be so, this is half times of this is integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus x square. If I keep on multiplying, this is 1 into xy is xy minus x into x square is x cube y minus xy cube dy. This is dz. Now, I have to integrate with respect to y. So, for that, so this will be half into integral 0 to 1. If I integrate with respect to y, so this value will be, see here, so this value, this value for y, this is uh, y squared by 2 and this is minus x cube. And for y, again, this will be y squared by 2 minus x into for y cube for y cube this will be y power 4 by 4 of dx of this is dx so the limits here are the limits here the y limits are from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to root over 1 minus x square here y is equal to 0 to y is equal to root over 1 minus x square and this is y is equal to 0 to y is equal to root over 1 minus x square. So, this value will be, so see, this value will be half times of 0 to 1. This is x. So, if I substitute the upper limit 1 minus x square whole square by 2 minus this is x cube in place of y if I keep this upper limit that is 1 minus x square whole square by 2 minus x times of this is root over 1 minus x square whole power 4 by 4 into this is dx. Now, I can easily cancel the square and root, the square and root and what happens now? If you observe this one, so the next step will be very, very easy. So, this will be, this will be half times of, this is a half times of integral 0 to 1. This is x into, this is 1 minus x square by 2. And this is x cube into, this is 1 minus x square by 2. And this is x times of 1 minus x square. This is 4. This root can be written as by 2 by 4. So, if I cancel this for 2 times and our next step will be, so this is half times of, this is 0 to 1, this is x into 1 minus x square by 2 minus, this is x cube into, this is 1 minus x square by 2 and this is x into, this is 1 minus x square whole square by 4 of dx. 
so there is half here and i'm setting the another half so this will be 1 by 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 this is integral 0 to 1 so this can be written as x into 1 minus x square minus x cube into this is 1 minus x square minus x a minus b whole square can be written as this is a square plus b square minus 2 a b into dx so this will be 1 by 4 times of this is 0 to 1 so if i multiply this is x minus x cube Again, this is minus x cube minus of minus. This is plus x power 5 minus this is x minus x power 5 minus 2 minus plus 2 x cube into this one is dx. So, this will be 1 by 4 times of 0 to 1. So, now I can cancel this plus x power 5 minus x power 5. And if you observe this one, this is plus 2 x cube and minus 2 x cube. So, this will be, see here, if I take 2 common and send it outside, so this there, here, it, it will be 2 here. And sorry for this step, and sorry for this step, I am adjusting here, that is x into, this is 1 minus x square minus x cube into 1 minus x square. This is x by 2 times of 1 plus x power 4 minus 2 x square into dx into dx so if you see this will be 1 by 4 times of this is 0 to 1 if i multiply this one this is x this will be x cube minus this is x cube minus of minus this is x power 4 minus if i multiply with this this will be minus x by 2 and this is minus x power 5 by 2 minus of minus this is plus this is uh, 2 x cube by 2 into dx into dx now i can cancel this two and here what else remind your hmm. then see and here she this is one by four times of zero to one so here plus minus half plus one minus half this will be so this is x power 5 by 2. So if I take this uh, x power 5 as common in these two, this will be 1 by 2 times of x power 5. And here, this is minus 2 x cube, minus 2 x cube. Here it is plus x cube. And later, this is 1 minus half. This is x by 2 of dx. And what remains here? So, this is 1 by 4 times of 0 to 1. This is x power 5 by 2. And this is minus x cube plus x by 2 into dx. Now, if I integrate with respect to x. So, this will be x power 6 by 6. Already there is 2. And this is x power 4 by 4. And this is x square by 2. There is already 2. Between the limits, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. If I substitute the same thing here, that is 1 by 4 times of 1 by 12 minus 1 by 4 and this is plus 1 by 4. If I cancel these two, the answer is nothing but, so this is nothing but 1 by 48. Therefore, our triple integral, which integral it is? So, it was given that, so it was given that integral 0 to 1 so integral this is 0 to 1 this is 0 to 1 minus x square this is 0 to root over root over 1 minus x square minus y square x y z into dx dy dz value is 1 by 48 so this is how we have to solve first of all let me explain you that it is the question given that is integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 minus x square so root over 1 minus x square minus y square so we have to consider in terms of x and y we have to consider as z limits and later in terms of x we have to consider as y limits and later x limits first of all i am going to integrate with respect to z this is z square by 2 upper limit minus lower limit i have substituted and again multiplied and now i have integrated with respect to y so after substituting the upper limit minus lower limit so these are all in terms of x after simplifying and i have taken 2 outside here so 2 2 so 2 will remain here so later 
if i multiply the whole x terms i got i got finally as uh, x power 5 by 2 minus x cube plus x by 2 and if i integrate with respect to x this will be x power 5 will be x power 6 by 6 x cube will be x power 4 by 4 and x will be x square by 2 and if i apply the limits as x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 i got the final answer as 1 by 48 and this is how we have to do and that's all for today and there are going to be many more videos coming up in this series thank you for pulling out all your time if you really like this video you know what to do please subscribe to this channel follow these videos and it will be very useful for your preparation and please share it share it with your friends and thank you so much